Okay, in the second instalment of our Phonak Roger series, we take a look at the base station. Once again, joined by my colleague Andy, and he's gonna go through some of the finer points of the unit, as well as how to connect one of the earpieces. Base station is the, the core of the Roger system. Uh, it's the transmitter, and it's the place where you input the audio that, that you wish to transmit. Um, quite a small little unit. Uh, it, you can put two of them alongside each other in a 1U rack if you wanted to. Uh, there's, a, there's a kit that comes to, to do that. Or it can sit as a, as a standalone unit, perfectly happy by itself. Um, just take you through the, the, the connections uh, that you've got here. On the back of the unit, you've got uh, a balanced audio input, which can be uh, an XLR or the, one of the larger jacks. Uh, and you've also got a standard 3.5 uh, jack input there as well, uh, either to choose from. Um, on here, you've got uh, uh, an input, a USB input. Uh, that's for uh, upgrading software on the unit. Firmware and that kind of thing. Yeah, firmware rather on the unit, which, which doesn't happen that often, mm. but there are certain little things that we can do with firmware, which are, we're, we're going to talk about. Um, and then there's the, the do not touch button on the back here, which is the reset button. Yeah. Um, if you reset, if you push that button, it will reset everything it's and you'll factory. lose everything, which you, you may want to do at some point. Um, and then the only other thing you've got on there, which is something that um, I, I didn't realize for a very long time, uh, this is a, a security uh, One of the key lock, lock in with a, with a yeah. key lock there if you wanted to um, stop people running off with it. Similar to the laptops. Okay, yeah, yeah, same thing. Um, on the front, uh, you have a, a, an audio out control. Although I'd say, you know, this is the, this is the fine tune. Most of the audio level is going to be set on the input. So yeah. whatever, you're, you, whatever you're putting in there, you control the audio going in there. This gives a fine tune then on the, on the audio out, on yeah. the transmission. So Andy, how do we connect our earpiece to the base station? Okay, really, really simple. Uh, take your earpiece on the front of the base station. You've got a, a couple of buttons on there. First of all, make sure the base station's powered up. Um, press that, you get a flash of the level meter across there. If you've got no audio going in, you're not going to see the level meters yeah. moving up and down. You've got a faint glow on the, on the front of the, the button there, which is, which is saying it's powered. Um, you want to bring this earpiece into this base station. Really, really simple to do. Close the battery door, which as we said, switches the unit on. You hold it very close to the transmitter base station and press this link button on the front. Press the link button, you get a green LED, uh, everything's up and running. Now, I'll just, I'll, let me just demonstrate though, if um, we'll, we'll pretend that this one um, has lost its battery, so we'll undo the battery there, uh, try and get a, a link across there, but obviously this is a, this is a dead earpiece now. Uh, press the button and wait for a moment and you get a red, which says, I'm sorry, but I haven't transmitted it, or I haven't connected to anything there. I'll pop it back in just to show you again. Link it on, and there it goes, green straight away. So that earpiece has now picked up on the specific coding of that transmitter. Yeah. Because they're, they're 2.4 gigahertz transmission, but every single transmitter has its own coding. Yeah. So that transmitter is now talking to that Roger earpiece. Yeah, so it means if you had several in the same place, they're not going to interfere with each other. No, you can have, uh, you can actually have up to 20 transmitters wow. uh, within the same uh, transmission range. Yeah. It's good practice uh, to keep them about half a metre apart. Yeah. Uh, it's strange because there is a rack mount for, for, for two units to go next yeah. to each other, but that's just for two units really. Yeah. Best practice, half a metre apart, um, although, you know, they, they will cope with being a little bit closer. If you can keep them separate, do. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a good idea. What's the kind of range we get here? Um, range, uh, it's been a, a, a key point of the, uh, of the, the Roger system. The system works on 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah. Which is uh, a fabulous frequency because it's a digital frequency. It's nice and nice and clear and strong uh, and widely used. And it's quite a large chunk of the spectrum. So the, the, you, the, the equipment that's on 2.4 gigahertz uh, uses uh, a, a hopping frequency system to, to move 
between clear channels of the whole 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. Yeah. Uh, and it's usually encoded, as we've said now. So, you know, it's, uh, it, it's very, very good in that respect. Um, what 2.4 gigahertz doesn't particularly like is, is open space. Yeah. It, it needs uh, to, to, to grow the signal, to strengthen the signal, and it actually needs reflection. Yeah. So things like uh, walls and metalwork and uh, other solid objects, it really likes. So in most scenarios, in the studio scenario, you've got a lot of lighting and metalwork and, and cabling around and it's bouncing around everywhere. You know, I would expect uh, a, a Roger Bay station and, uh, and earpiece to be up to 40 meters apart and, and, yeah. and be quite happy. Um, the, the, the new version of the, the Roger earpiece, the V2, yeah. uh, actually there is getting much better range again. Uh, we're talking about an extra 30 to 40% extra range. Yeah. This is, a, this is a V1 unit. Um, that I'm showing you here, and you can see that because the, the writing on the front is white. The, yeah. the only difference between the V1 and the V2, V2 on the blue, uh, blue blue writing, uh, white writing is the, is the, is the V1. Yeah. So um, range, yeah, clearly is very often an important thing. Yeah. So there are some other pointers uh, that are worth remembering. Where you put the base station is a really important factor. The biggest uh, inhibitor to good range is actually where you're putting the earpiece. Yeah. You're putting it in your ear, which is effectively you, you, you're putting it in a big bag of fluid. Yeah. Um, and 2.4 gig doesn't go very well through, any radio signal doesn't go terribly well through water unless it's very, very low frequency. Yeah. So um, putting it inside your head, which is effectively what you're doing because it does go quite deep into the ear canal, as we've said, um, can cause some issues yeah. and you're going to get a much better reception if the transmitter is on the same side yeah. that where you've put the uh, put the earpiece. Now you can't, you know, that's one thing you could consider that if you've got a, a, a presenter or, or talent that has got it in their left ear, then why not have the transmitter on the left hand side of the head? That's always going to increase the, the, the range capability. Yeah. If you can't guarantee they're going to be in the left or right side, go for the best shot, get the transmitter up high yeah. so it's above head level, so there's more chance of it getting a clear yeah. transmission to either side of the head, wherever it would be. Yeah. So with, uh, with the base station, you know, we'd always like to see it at two and a half meters high if you, if you can. And in the same room, yes. obviously, as, as where the action's taking place. Yeah. So, much better to bring your audio cable to the to to the transmitter, yeah. Uh, rather than try and get the transmission from the, the sound room or, or control room. Yeah. That's it from us at Raycom. You can pick all your Fennec Roger products up on the website raycom.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.